Hello everyone and welcome to The Good Old Gamer. So today I want to get your guys' feedback on something that's kind of been bugging me a lot here lately. So I just found out a couple of days ago that on October 5th, so that's two days from now, uh, Alan Wake is being remastered, remade, whatever, coming back out on modern platforms. It's going to have some updated graphics. I'm hoping they fix the kind of janky animations. That's really the only thing that I hope that they change. But other than that, Alan Wake is one of my favorite games of all time. So I got super excited. I'm like, yes, all right, cool deal. Then I went online. I'm like, okay, so what platforms is this going to be on? And of course, it's going to be on the current gen consoles and I guess last gen. I guess they're last gen now. So that's real cool. If you uh, haven't played those games, you can play them on those consoles now. Now, where things fell apart was on PC. And that's because Alan Wake is only going to be available on the Epic Games Store. This, to me, is becoming a real issue. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about here today. I want to get your feedback. I'm going to explain my position. And I really want to see where the community lands on this whole exclusivity thing on the PC platform. Because for me, I really don't like it. But before we get into it, if you like videos like this, please smash that like button, please subscribe, please share with friends, that really does help out the channel. And if you want to become a member of the good old gamer team, you can click the little join button down below or in the description, you can join over on Patreon, it gives you Discord access, you can chat with me directly, and you can ask questions on the Techonomics podcast. You will also then gain access to the exclusive After Hours Techonomics podcast, only available to members on YouTube and on Patreon. So, alrighty guys, let's get back into it. So, this isn't the first time that we've had games being exclusive on PC platforms, but here over the past couple of months, there have been a few games that I am I was personally interested in and excited for that just aren't available on any platforms that I personally like. For me personally, if it's not on GOG or on Steam, I really don't have any interest in it because I don't like bogging down my PC with a whole bunch of basically extra spyware on my system, unless it's absolutely necessary. Now, the games that I'm referring to are Crisis Remastered Trilogy. That's going to be coming out. That's also going to be an Epic Game Store exclusive. And uh, I thought that that would be coming to Steam because Crisis Remastered started as an Epic Game Store exclusive. Uh, it's been about a year now, so I figured they were going to bring the trilogy out over on Steam. Nope. So that's going to be exclusive to Epic Game Store for probably at least another year. So I, I never played it because I'm like, no, I'm just going to wait till it comes out on Steam. Now I'm going to have to wait another year at the very least. And that's frustrating to me because I would like to check that out. Another game that just recently came out that I'm interested in would be the Diablo 2 remaster. I really like the Diablo series, well, 1 and 2. And instead of running the old version, which is kind of a pain in the butt to get up and running on modern PCs, it'd be nice to have access to that. Now that's a game that I knew was going to be a Blizzard Battle.net exclusive. So I already resigned myself being like, okay, this is what Blizzard does. This is how it's going to go. So I was really kind of looking forward to getting it on the Xbox, believe it or not. So this way I could bypass Battle.net entirely, but they don't offer a physical edition of that version. So either way, I'm going to be kind of locked into DRM hell if I want to play that game. So what did I do? I chose not to get any of it. It's like, nope, I'm not buying this thing at all because none of the platforms that I'm interested in should be Steam, GOG, or physical copy on console. I just don't have that option. So till that is, I'm just going to have to give that a hard pass. And then I found out about Alan Wake, got real excited. And then once again, it's like it's only on Epic Game Store. And I'm like, come on, this is really frustrating to me because I have literally no need to have the Epic Game Store on my PC except to play a few games that they just have as exclusives. And to me, this is just getting really tiresome. It's like, I don't want this software on my system. I don't really want to fund you guys for forcing me onto this thing. Basically, I don't want to support the bad practices. And typically, I'm okay with waiting. If you guys are fans of the channel, you guys know that I, I haven't been too excited about actual games here recently because there haven't been a lot of options. But the last three that just came out that I was interested in, only one of them I knew I was going to have a bit of a problem with. But the other two, I'm like, come on, guys. It's time to offer these on platforms that other people might choose. 
Now, I'm really interested to get your guys' thoughts on this. Do you guys like having all the launchers up? Does that bother you at all? Uh, for me personally, I, I just don't do it. Like, I don't use Uplay anymore unless I'm doing benchmarking on certain things. But on my main PC, I don't use Uplay. I don't use Origin. Uh, I don't use Epic. I don't use Rockstar. I'm trying to think. There's probably one or two more. I don't use any of those. It's just Steam and GOG. And realistically, I don't even need GOG Galaxy. I can run all my games anyway. That's one of the beautiful parts about GOG. That and everything's DRM free. I have them backed up on my server, so I don't even have to download them again. So personally, that's my favorite. As you guys know, I would much prefer all games come out on GOG. But realistically, uh, a lot of publishers are afraid of the DRM free thing, which has been proven wrong time and time again, regardless. But... Still, I kind of understand that. So Steam is kind of like my fallback platform. And Steam used to have the majority of titles launch on it. That used to be where everybody went. Now that doesn't seem to be the case. So it almost seems like what's the point of me even using Steam anymore? Um, I just restored my system and I'm setting up another PC right here, right now, as I'm recording this. And I'm just installing the games that, you know, I typically play on a regular basis on there. I only have about five games on Steam that I actually play regularly, and that's about it. And if they're not getting newer games on that platform, it's almost not even worth using Steam anymore and just sticking with GOG. And if you guys have been out there, you know that that's going to significantly limit the amount of games that I'll be playing. Uh, but once again, Steam's just not getting the games that I want right now. So is there really a benefit to that? So this is really just kind of bugging me. So I wanted to get your guys' thoughts on this. Is it a big deal to you? Do you guys have kind of the same thing? You just use one or two platforms and you're like, that's it. I'm not jumping around. I'm not giving everybody on the planet money. Because the worst part is, is like I bought Metro Exodus when that came out on uh, Epic Game Store. It's the only game I bought on Epic Game Store just because that's where it was exclusive. And I really liked the Metro series. That was also when it was kind of new. And I'm not gonna lie, I had a bad experience with that. It was just jank. And so that left a bad taste in my mouth, to be honest with you. But then it came out on Steam, not too far after. I think it was like six months later. Then I bought the game again because I didn't want to deal with the jank so I could delete Epic Game Store. And then like six months later, it came out on GOG. And then it's like, this is annoying. You know, I don't mind buying a game twice to get it on the platform I want, especially on GOG, get it DRM free. I actually can access it with or without internet. I have access to all of my games. Uh, so I will always get my games on GOG. But buying basically the same game three times, that that was annoying because I played through the game once uh, on Epic Game Store and I did some benchmark videos on it. And then I'm never going to access that piece of software again that I paid money for. And once I recognize that sort of problem that I'm never going to use these platforms over the platforms that I prefer, I'm just like, I'm just not going to give these guys money. So that's my stance on this. That's what my rationale. Um, I prefer just having one to two platforms. And then my ultimate fallback is if, let's say it's not on GOG, it's not on Steam, I'll get it on the Xbox, I'll buy the physical copy, because once again, you don't need internet, as long as you have the game downloaded, saved on an external drive, basically that's your unlock key, so you, you know, internet goes out or whatever, you still have access to your games, to me, it's second best to GOG in terms of your accessibility to stuff that you paid for, but a lot of games aren't coming out physically anymore, Especially not on Xbox, which is kind of annoying. Like, I wanted to get Quake, the new Quake on Xbox. Uh, they have it over on limited run games for Switch and PlayStation 4. I was like, okay, so it's here, but why can't I get it on Xbox? And that that kind of bothered me. A lot of you guys might be like, well, why don't you get a Switch or a PlayStation? I like the Xbox platform because, number one, I prefer the controller. Number two, I prefer their system because you have, you know, the backwards compatibility stuff. And a lot of those games that I like. Now, granted, a lot of those games are being remade and remastered now, and it's kind of diminishing the benefit of that, uh, as obviously I'd rather play the updated versions with the higher resolutions and all that kind of stuff. So, for example, uh, Alan Wake is coming out physically on Xbox. I might do that. Uh, the main issue there is it's only going to run at 30 FPS on the Xbox One consoles. It's not going to run at 60. You need a series console, and I just haven't been able to get a Series X for $500 yet. So I'm like, eh, I don't know. I, I would probably prefer playing the original version, which I'm going to be showing you footage throughout this. Uh, I have the GOG version, of course. 
And I, I would probably rather play that version at 60 FPS than the newer remastered at 30. I don't know. I might pick it up just to support Remedy. I really do love the game. My biggest thing is, is why can't I buy the games that I want to on the platforms that I want to on PC? Like I said, I understand GOG kind of being a thing. Usually they wait a few years to bring those over because DRM and whatever. But why these games aren't on Steam is becoming a real issue to me. It's diminishing the, the necessity of Steam on my PCs because there's very few games that I even use Steam for anymore. And I just don't like being pressured into using somebody else's platform and giving more money and having my game scattered all over the place. I personally don't like that. But already, guys, that's enough ranting for me. I just wanted to get my thoughts out there. This really did kind of bug me. I was really excited when I first found out about this because I haven't seen any advertising for it. Um, Alan Wake is a fantastic game. If you haven't played it, I will put links down below to the GOG version. It is an affiliate link. It does help support the channel if you want to pick it up. But if you haven't played the game, trust me, you're doing yourself a favor. It's a fantastic game. If you want to play the remastered version, you're stuck on Epic Game Store. And in my opinion, I think I'd just stick with the original version at this point in time. If I absolutely have to play the remaster, I will probably just buy the physical copy uh, for the Xbox. You can do the same thing for PlayStation as well. So that's just where I'm at. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And that's really all I have for you guys here today. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.